actually nice enough to open the shed up. couple of things going on this week. Um, these are obviously, obviously, obvious to me. These are the boards from the, the from the forward bunk. Um, and got two coats of primer or undercoat on there at the moment. We'll be glossing them today. This one, which is the aftmost of them, and sits over the water tanks. This is the one that will be lifted up probably the most. And I, I, think, I think I'm going to cut it in half. So as it's two boards, I should do that very soon so that I only have to lift one half to get at that there'll be a valve under there to switch from one water tank to the other tank so I'll put it, yeah I'll go to cut that one in half So, cutting up some pieces of wood here for the final pieces of the shelves. One, two, three. Um, I cut them out of some mahogany door pieces I had and, and the last pieces of mahogany window I had. Um, they're five thicks of glued up. We've got 10 centimeters wide top and bottom, 
15 centimeters wide, uh, top and middle, sorry, 15 centimeters wide at the bottom. And the bottom is that wide because, of course, there's, there's going to be cushions coming in there, foam cushions, which will be a decent thickness, you know, four inch, 10 centimeters at least, and maybe thicker. So it's important that this protrudes above the top of the cushion, at least a little bit. Um, so that's the way I've done that. And it was the last of my recycled mahogany that I had in stock. Decided to use it, glued them edge up. I first of all glued them with um, tight bond, and uh, then I wasn't very happy with it. So I took them apart again. <laughs> this is the way it is in truth. And glued them with epoxy. Now this is a good, really solid bond. Um, looks great. About to cut them in, get them in place. I've run them through the plane there just to give them a rough clean up and level them up so they're, they're flat. So, about to cut them and get them in, so I should shoot some film of fitting those very soon. Bye. 
swallow. Two shells trimmed up. Very nice. In the cellar again. As you can probably tell by the way you can't stand up. It's the cellar. Scan around, Hazel. And you see Karen's been busy making jam and stuff. Some bottled fruit. Very nice. Good. Back here. You'll remember, remember a couple of weeks ago. I told you that we had the, the glass fibre into the house and it came in there. And uh, earlier this week, a chap come by um, to install the actual internet connection. So it comes out of that box into that box, into a router here. Um, and uh, then we're into network cable there. Kerry and I put up this conduit that routes around the ceiling in in the conduit and disappears. Sorry? You and me, you put it up. Did we? Yeah. You and me, okay, it's a bit stuck cut. <laughs> I drilled holes in the ceiling. Did you? Yeah. Okay, good cut. <laughs> Kira and I did the other conduit. We we'll ah, do it again. Okay. Go. And Hazel and I put up this conduit, very nice bit of conduit that the, the network cable runs into, runs around the, the cellar ceiling. And if I come over here, Hazel, this way you'll see it disappearing into a into a disused chimney there um it goes obviously up the chimney i suppose it could go down i suppose but it goes up the chimney comes out in the office upstairs behind the desk and uh voila what you might notice is that the installation isn't quite complete because we're powered over an extension cable that's draped across the floor, so clearly we've got to run a run an electrical socket around here and get that in. Try and get that done soon. But it works. We have high-speed internet. Jerry's happy because his PlayStation is now actually capable of playing games online without any delay. So he's a happy boy. Um, and the rest of us, there was a little issue. When they hooked this up, um, it took them a day or so to actually do their end of the software connection. But they were very, very fast. Before that, we had a, a hybrid router, which had a combined, the old telephone line, the, the, the copper telephone line, was one connection, and, an, uh, and, a, and a phone SIM card in it. So we had an LTE, although you don't often get LTE in this village, um, connection as well. So it used those, that combination. And as soon as they put this in, they disconnected the LTE instantly, which gave me the lovely situation of well, last week's video took 19 hours to upload. <laughs> Hopefully, this week's video, perhaps I'll say something next week, I reckon it'll be a lot faster. Well, I reckon 
20 minutes. We'll see. I will let you know. Good. Let's go and look at the boat shed. In terms of planning, um, as you know, I said a few weeks back, I'm starting forwards and, and working my way aft with finishing. So the, the fore cabin is just about done now. Um, I should just get in there, start painting these. These are, they've got uh, one decent coat of undercoat on them. Do a quick sand, second coat of undercoat, and get them glossed. So we're glossed through to here, get it finished. Um, should be doing that this week, working on that. And then we'll be out in the finishing off the galley and getting some construction in the heads there, which is which is not even started, as if you just sort of quick glance in the heads there. It's, well, started it is, but not more than that. Um, so that's what we're doing. I want to get all of these, all of these settees painted out as well um, this week. Temperatures are okay. You know, the paint's drying just fine. I'm happy with the way it's going. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's progressing. That's what we're doing. At the moment in this dark winter time, still February, early February now, the, the goal is, is to work on the inside still. So as soon as the spring comes along properly, we'll be back outside and getting some finishing off done there. And that will be a lot more photogenic. Uh, that's where we are for now. And guys, yeah, thanks for watching. A big, big thank you to everybody who, who pledged something to support my brother, Ginge. Last time, that's brilliant, you guys. And hit the old subscribe button, I guess. Thanks. Riches in the sunset, stand at sea. Tell me where you go going so decisively What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound We can move together where adventures abound Running